Hey guys, welcome back. Orbom here bringing you another episode and our final episode of 10 days straight of PTCGO live content. Now today, people, today, I was trying to build a deck. <clears throat> so we already ran through all the decks that I feel like have potential or are like fun or interesting, right? I ran through all of them. Uh, the ones, the other ones that I, the ones that a lot of people were suggesting, like um, Salazzle and um, was it Fossils and stuff like that, they are really really difficult to make good at least for me so i didn't really get a chance to play those but we're going to be playing some rotoms today uh hopefully that sounds good to you guys but before we get into the video um be sure this is the last day guys i'd really appreciate it if all you guys would support me by dropping a like we did just hit 3,000 subscribers uh so that's really 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 exciting i need to think of a new goal because we hit it like 20 days ahead of time right my birthday's on the 4th of march so I need to think of a goal to hit before then. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But regardless, we are playing with Rotoms today. Um, Rotoms are relatively interesting. Is there anything else I have to say? Oh yeah, giveaway question. Uh, what's your... F I don't know. What's a good giveaway question? I was going to say what's your favorite Rotom form. That sounds pretty boring. Uh, hmm. Hmm. What's a good giveaway question? What's a good giveaway question? I'm just trying to look around my room. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What's your favorite deck to come out of Ultra Prism? Let me know in the comments down below. There's a lot of cool decks. There's Weavile variants. There's there's Dustman of Krasma. There is uh, Glaceon. There's a lot of interesting decks that come out of Ultra Prism. Let me know what your favorite Ultra Prism deck is in the comments down below. And I'll pick a winner and give them a code, obviously. So Rotom here, not so much our main attacker, but more like end game. Let's knock things out for a weakness attacker. Ooh, just had to restart my computer to make everything work. So forgive me for all the noise. But um, Rotom Odie here is a really interesting ability. If you have nine or more Pokemon tool cards in your discard pile, ignore all energy and the attack cost of each of this Pokemon's attacks. So ideally, late game. Can we not do this right now? Uh, late game. Sorry, things are popping up. Uh, we should be able to knock things out for weakness as much as we can. Uh, we have Plasma Slice here, which does 120, which is really good. It's 240 for weakness. Uh, we have Heat Rotom here, which has 80, um, or what was that? 110, which is 220 for weakness. It's really good against things like Duskman and Necrozma and, and the likes. So Rotom is actually pretty useful. Uh, we have Ro Motum Ro, Mo Rotom. Uh, which is Grass, which hits for 60, 120 for weakness, and has the ability to discard special energy, which is really nice. Uh, so we use this against the likes of Lycanroc and whatnot. I kind of want to try one. Of, uh, and it's also good against Greninja, but whatever. <laughs> We're not going to do very well against Greninja because of Shadow Stitch. Um, we have Frost Rotom here, which is really good against Volcano. It does 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. Volcano usually has a pretty decent amount of energy attached to all their Pokemon. So Frost Crush can generally take a one or two big knockouts. Um, and then we have Mew, the other Rotom that's Psychic type and hits Puzzle. <laughs> uh, we play Mew just to copy um, Zorak. We are playing a Zorak engine. It's unfortunate. I didn't really want to. I know that I spent like a good amount of time working on this. This I played it with Pumpkin Bomb first. And I know a lot of people are going to give me comments about why don't you pair with Pumpkin Bomb. I'll tell you right now that uh, pump, playing it with Pumpkin Bomb um, makes a deck horribly inconsistent and just makes you suffer. And just makes you suffer. Pumpkin Bomb is really cool though. It gives you a different psychic attacker. A DC you could discard tools. <laughs> Sorry, I had the yawn. Just woke up. Uh, Pumpkin Bomb is cool because it gives you the ability to discard tools on the board, and that's 40 damage for each one. The problem is that it's weak to dark, and which is not very good right now. And it's low HP, and just generally it's hard to set up while setting up, while trying to set everything else up on your board as well. So I did remove the Pumpkin Bombs. I brought it down from a 4-4 line to a 2-2 line to a 0-0 line. So that just gives you an idea of like how rough it was for me to play with Gorgeist. So we're just playing straight Zorg engine and hopefully late game we can knock things out with Rotoms. Um, and yeah, we got a 4-1-3. I still think stand in Zorg is too important to not play. Just because my jack is super good right now, and then we have the good old, good old Zoric. I wanted to play Ace Rollers or Max Potions or something in here, but I need to find room for it first. This is my first time trying it, taking out Pumpkin Bomb altogether. So hopefully this works out very nicely. I'm playing three Field Blowers because I don't like the things that disrupt my Rotoms. I want my Rotoms to have fun today. Rescue Stretchers, two of them, um, two Special Charges, four Ultra Balls, good old stuff. I think we're playing uh, four Goozes now. 
Yeah, because Guzmans are kind of boring. Two Bridgets, four Guzmas, four Ends, and four Sycamores. No Cynthia's. I want to discard my tools as much as possible, so that's why I'm maxing out on my Sycamore count. Um, I could probably drop maybe like an N for a Cynthia, I guess. Cynthia's are never bad. I'll go ahead and do that now, actually. <clears throat> All right, we'll play one Cynthia. We have some fun tools here. We got four Bursting Balloons, because Bursting Balloons are good. Even though, like, it's kind of tough to play Bursting Balloons, because your opponent can either Field Blower them off or Guzma around it. So, uh, Bursting Balloons, they're really cool and really interesting and force your opponent to make plays, but at the same time, they never... I found that they never actually work. But, I mean, it's just a tool. They go to the discard pile right away, so it already benefits our strategy for Rotom. We got two Dashing Paths. Dashing Paths is really interesting. If this Pokemon this card is attached, it discards energy for a retreat cost, put the energy into your hand. So if we discard an energy for um for a DCE, if we discard a DCE to retreat, we can Dashing Pouch, put the DCE back into our hand, and then attack with a different Pokemon with that DCE. So that's pretty handy, so shout out to Dashing Pouch. Uh, we got, of course, four Float Stones. Uh, we should have like four choice bands, right? Yeah, four choice bands. I miss those. And we're playing one poison barb. I, I just wanted a different tool in here. I wanted to make a solid 15 tools. I think that's 15, right? Four, eight, 12, uh, 14. Yeah, f solid 15 tools. I found that 15 is a pretty golden number in this deck, so I'm doing that. And of course, four DCs. Well, that's going to be the deck, guys. Hopefully, we can find some good games that close off these 10 days. Uh, we got a couple of videos that are not at 40 likes quite yet. So. <clears throat> Once all the videos hit 40 likes, I might do another five days. Probably not. <laughs> Depends on how quickly they get to 40 likes each. And uh, I want to do a top 10 at some point. Hopefully I can find some time to do that. Uh, this week, I'm, I'm uploading this on Sunday. So the Monday, so the, this next Monday I have an exam, right? And then the Monday after that I have an exam as well. So I'd have to find some time between then and between probably after, I should say that again. Maybe, maybe if I have some time after that Monday to hopefully uh, be able to record. <sighs> Man, I'm tired. I did just wake up. My, I have to take my brother to work early today, which is apparently one of those things where your family doesn't tell you anything about your schedule. So they interrupt your schedule. Uh, we're playing against... Oh, Dusk. Oh, okay. I was about to say, what's a dragon? But I realize it's Daga. So ideally, we can use Heat Rotom in this deck, in this matchup, um, earlier rather than later. And I want to keep my choice bands around as well, so I don't want to discard too many choice bands. We'll see what our Ultra Ball makes us discard, because I do ideally want to get rid of... Uh, I do want to play Bridget this turn, I mean. Ideally, we can play on a Bridget. Yeah, that seems pretty decent. Do I toss the Balloon? I want to I want to keep N, and I want to keep Special Charge. We are playing two Special Charge, and Heat Rotom is going to be our main attacker in this deck. So, I'm going to toss these two. Because I want to play down the Special Charge. Hopefully, Lele Bridget isn't prized. We're not going to use Mew this game. We have one Lele prized, and it looks like we have one Zorua prized. Yeah. One Lele runs Zorua, and our Heat Rotom's prized, so that's pretty exciting. Oh, man. I knew I was. I knew I should have played two when I was building the deck, but I was like, whatever. If it's prized, it's prized. And right now, it's prized, it's prized. We have a DCE prize. Dude, our prizes are lit right now. Not, not, not to benefit us. Not to benefit us at all. So that sucks. Well, we get our remaining Zorua's out, I guess. Hopefully we can get some two AKOs. And we'll toss. Well, we want to grind out their Mount Coin heads. I'm hoping they only play three. Uh, we'll throw down a. Hmm. I mean, none of these are really useful. <laughs> I guess we'll throw one down for tool potential and sack fodder. Uh, this is the most useless. I mean, these two have some use this matchup, so we'll, we'll toss this down just for sack fodder. We are playing two stretchers, so ideally we can work around the whole stretcher thing. We'll start tossing away some stadiums now, so that we cause some pressure. And we'll call it a turn. And if they bench if they bench a lot, I can play stand-in and get a big knockout with choice band. So ideally they give themselves a full bench. That's best case scenario for us. So, and also, I'm sorry if you guys can hear like any background noise of a computer, because my computer is being really loud today. I don't know what the deal is. I just need a new computer, man. I need a new... I, I think I talked about this once in a video already. But I need a new everything. So, I need to start saving money to work on getting new stuff. I gotta put my blanket on because it's getting chilly. Hopefully this video doesn't last long, an hour. I literally only have an hour of free time, so... Uh, hopefully this doesn't last long, a whole hour. 
So he is benching a bunch of Pokemon, but I only hit 160 right now. He needs to bench one more. And ideally, he's stuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Does he actually have Rare Canyon Hand? I mean, if he has Rare Canyon Hand, it's not a big deal. Uh, it's just more annoying if he... If he's, like, already... If I don't know. Oh, I guess he played... Okay, never mind. That's fine. So he has a full bench now, so we can get some pretty big knockouts. I mean, I'm not going to be able to do it next turn. Um, but it'd be pretty nice if we could. More tools in the discard pile. I still want to keep Choice Band around, because I have a good feeling about Choice Band. I guess we can attach one, though. I mean, I've already lost one, though, so I want to be careful about that. Maybe play four, so it's maybe it's not the biggest deal in the world. We whiffed pretty hard there. Also, I end my opponent. Why did I play end? <laughs> it's too early in the morning, guys. It is too early in the morning. I guess we'll sack off uh, Mo Rotom here. Dude, we are so behind. <laughs> I'm already so behind this game, bro. Where are my Ultra Balls? Where are my Ultra Balls? Where are my, where are my Zorax? Give me my stuff, man. Hoping my opponent does not get too much off that end. Oh, there we go. <laughs> here comes the problems. Here comes the problems. This would be so much better if I just had if I just had Heat Rotom. I could have played to my Heat Rotom. Uh, but it's a little bit difficult right now. He has two Magna Zones out. So I'm never going to stop the Magna Zones from being a thing. But if I can do some, if I can have a decent prize exchange here, it's not a big deal. He's playing the Starmie line. I actually hate the Starmie line in this deck. I think you should focus on, I think you should really focus on this. It just seems more reliant uh, than everything else. Does he have any energies down here? I don't think he does. Yeah, well, he has a couple in hand, I guess. Uh, let's we'll see what happens here. I can't knock this out in one hit, except with my, uh, not with, except with my stand-in. So I guess I could try to do that, try to get stand-in and start taking big knockouts and just retro st rescue stretcher the stand-in back later. Okay, now he can start hitting me for 60. So if things work out, like, well, I can stand in and knock in this, knock out the Zorak this turn, and knock, knock out this the Krosma this turn for two prizes. Um, I think I'll play Sycamore this turn, probably. We'll see what happens. If he has four in his hand, that's going to suck, but it's actually, it's actually not a big deal if he loses energy. I just want to abuse the fact that he has a full bench, that's all. Do you have four in your hand, buddy? Or three in your hand, I should technically say. Oh, okay, he's going to try to draw, I see. I about to say, what is he doing? Oh, he's just getting Lele for next turn. Hey, that means another time he's going to have a full bench, which is good for me. I'll take that every day of the week. Is he really just going to try to get four energies down? Is there a reason? Like, you, you don't have... Uh, whatever. I guess if you really want to take a knockout. Ideally, I get my field blower so he doesn't get these energies back on the board. Since he's apparently wasting them on a Rotom. <laughs> Which I will take, I guess. I need everything to work out really well for me here. So help me out. Uh, luck of the draw. Luck of the draw. Just give me an Ultra Ball. I have everything else already. I just need an Ultra Ball or Zoark. So, uh... Oh, no! Whatever. I play one more special charge, I think. Uh, I really hope it's in the deck because I have to play Sycamore this turn. I really need to. I really need to draw my Zoraks. Ultra Ball. Okay, at the very least we got Ultra Ball. Uh, Frost Rotom. I'll play down. Back to what I was saying earlier. Uh, we have Stretcher, which is not super useful right now, but we can be useful after we take a knockout this turn. Um, I guess we'll toss these two because I'm gonna probably in a Sycamore next turn as well. I just hate that we're losing consistency, but we have so many draw supporters, we should be okay. And if he knocks us out, then we just take a knockout next turn as well. And he, if he plays down Lele, then we're even we're, then we're in a, even in a better position. So we can just take one nice big knockout here. And how many tools we got now? Two, three, four. We have a fifth one on the active, so we need another choice band here. Uh, oh, there's another DC. I mean, it's not bad, and we got Heat Rotom too, so overall things are looking a lot better now. So if he does take a knockout, we can rescue stretch and put it back into our hand. But we need another choice band, and I already that'll be my third choice band. So we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, he does decide to do the thing. See if he plays N too, because I think he might play N, knowing that we have a very small, knowing that we have no Zorax out. I mean, let's see. Oh, he just plays second one. All right, I'll take that. I didn't get field blower either. I was hoping to get field blower. I played three, so I was really hoping to get field blower to get rid of his stadiums. Ideally, he sycamores away more stadiums so that I don't have to. I can win the stadium more here. What's he doing? Oh, I guess he's just doing this first, huh? I don't really know why, but it is what it is. Is he planning on attacking the Ranguru? I guess he technically gets a knockout the Ranguru, huh? Oh, that's a problematic. Um, that's really annoying. 
I guess we knock him out with Zorak GX and hopefully we can get rid of his stadium as well. So, I mean, like, he can do this if he wants, but, like, we can accomplish some more things. Is he trying to set this up as well? Seems kind of, uh, weird. I guess if he can get Choice Band Guzma, he can take a knockout. Because I do plan on attacking with the other, with Zorak GX this turn. Or better yet, I can, like, top deck a Guzma, somehow get, like, 20 tools in my Discord pile right now. <laughs> All right, so we have a couple now. Um, oh, there's Guzma, but it doesn't get us a knockout because we don't have choice bands, so there's that. Uh, hmm. One, two, three, four, five. We have five so far. I guess I can just shuffle these back in. So I don't want them right now. I'd rather get Zorak GX right now and hopefully another Pokemon. So we just need to draw well here. Zorak GX's, please and thank you. All right, there we go. There we go, and we even got Zoro down. So that's pretty handy. Um, so now we get a knockout, and we can trade as well. Uh, we can actually trade this Rotom that we don't really need. Uh, he has a lot of cards in his hand, but I'm just hoping that we can get a Field Blower here. So I can get rid of his Stadium, and ideally he doesn't have another one. Uh, Guzma's handy. I guess we can toss an Ultra Ball. Because this seems pretty handy as well. I mean, is it really? I, I mean, it does achieve to a KO. Which is handy in its own right. And we got the Field Blowers, which is exactly what I was looking for. Uh, so now he's going to have a harder time setting up. Ideally. We don't have enough tools down there yet. I'm still trying to get more tools down there. Three. No, it's not. Three, four, five, uh, just five. I need four more, which we don't have yet. Uh, we'll be here for knockout. So four more tools. This is the tough part about this deck is setting up your tool knockouts. Oh, look, another mode them. Maybe I should take out both of them. I don't know. Somebody said I should play two, and I was like, sure, I'll play two. Uh, while we were on stream. And I was like, two doesn't sound awful. And uh, I'm kind of regretting it now. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't know what else I'd play. Does he have three energies in hand? Like, is he gonna time with me? Is there a point? You think you'd Guzman and take a knockout on Lele, but I guess who cares, right? If you get two turns. Oh, he has Mount Cornet in hand as well. Right, on. Did I not get rid of Mount Cornet? I thought I did. I guess he can timeless knock me out. Wow, this is this is insane. Did I not? I thought I got rid of a Mount Cornet. I I guess I did. He just had one in hand. I bet I was just looking away because, yeah, as, as you know, recording things, making sure everything's working. Speaking of which, is everything working? It looks like everything's working. He's gonna end me down to three. That seems kind of weird, right? Shouldn't he? Actually, no, it's better if he ends me now. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, I'm losing a trade here, and I guess I'm losing a Rotom. <laughs> uh, ooh, Poison Barb is cool. Oh, I guess, never mind. He has to knock out this next turn as well. All right, cool. That means you get, we get another extra turn. We don't, we don't lose right away. I mean, I was fully expecting him to, like, Guzma instead of end that turn, but never mind. See what he does now. Oh, he's just gonna shred for knockout. Really? That seems so interesting. Uh, all right. Well, we have free retreat here. Uh, let's see what we can do now. Balloon is cool. I mean, that's another two tools in the discard pile, putting us to that th uh, three, uh, four, five. I'll be six, seven. I guess we can just trade first, though. Then again, if I ultra ball, I can draw things I need. But actually, I better trade because I, I don't. I, I'm gonna use all these cards in my hand if I don't trade. Let's get this toss poison part first. All right, because I want to ultra ball for another Zorak. Look at that. Look at all these tools, bro. If I get Guzma, that'd be best case scenario. Uh, let's field blower right now before I forget because I will forget. All right, so now we ultra ball away these guys. Do we get Lele? Because I think that's enough tools now. Let me double check. Because we get Lele, we can knock this out. Um, well, that's not true because we need choice band still. Uh, three, so maybe I don't do that. Three, five, um, three, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we do need one more, which is in our hand. If I get Zoark, I can pull it off. I also want DCE, which there's only one more left, uh, because we did get him off the prizes already. So maybe I just get Sycamore here. Yeah, I think I grab Lele. 
Uh, do we even have Lele? Oh yeah, my other Lele is prize, isn't it? Oh, that's awkward. All right, well, Zoark, I need you to come through, buddy. That's nine tools now, but I need to. I need you to come through with the good, good. Give me a choice band Guzma off this. Oh, that's really close, but it's not what I wanted because um, we don't have choice band yet. We can hit 160, so I guess we can technically knock out a Magnezone. But I think I'll hold on to my Guzmas and just play N here. It's not ideal because I'm only getting three, but my opponent's only getting two, so it's better than nothing, especially since he lost a Ranguru. And a Stadium card as well. I can attack with Rotom. That's pretty handy. Sure, we'll attack with Rotom here. Uh, with this Rotom at least. Actually, how much? How much, how much does this do? Uh, 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all your Pokemon. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 160, 170 damage. That's actually not bad. Um, I guess we can do this now because I'm not going to be able to do 170 damage later. And he doesn't get knocked out by Shred. So, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's Frost Crush. If only had one more energy down. We could do some, we can do some good, good with this. Let's see if he has a Stadium in hand. Oh, he got another stadium? That's crazy. Alright, he plays four, which is expected. But the fact that he got them all is kind of annoying. Alright, this is really good for us if we can just draw... If we can just draw a choice band. I think we can win if we just draw a choice band. We literally just need a choice band and we can win this game. Because I don't think he can come back if we can if we uh, knock out his Duskman here. Definitely don't need Mew. Um, Mew cannot copy any of his attacks. Any of my opponent's attacks, I should say. Uh, man. He wins the game if I don't draw anything useful here. So I really need to draw, like, right now. Like, right... I have to draw right now. Uh, Guzma... It's not the choice band I was looking for. So I think I might have to dig. If my choice band's prized, it is what it is there. Because we, we just have lots of things prize this game. Uh, nothing can Oko me. Except for the Magazones, which is kind of annoying. Uh, sure, let's just do this. We don't need tools anymore anyway, so we should be okay. Uh, choice band doesn't really matter. Alright, Sycamore, give me a choice band. Oh no, I attached the... I just realized. I'm an idiot, bro. I attached here. I meant to attach the thing here. Oh no. Because, ah, oh, man, I'm so dumb. I'm actually super dumb. Uh, I'm actually super dumb. What I wanted to do was attach this Bursting Balloon to this Rotom, right? Man, that's really annoying because this matchup was really good. This is a really good matchup because I managed to pull this off, right? Because I have the Choice Band in hand. Uh, and I don't have another Floatstone to obviously pull this, to do any shenanigans with. So um, it is what it is here. Now I think I lose unless he doesn't get an Energy in his hand. Um, so it is what it is there. That's like really, really, really annoying. Uh, I was so ready, man. Because I would have got a knockout with this Heat Rotom. And then he doesn't have a way to revenge me. At least not that I know of. He can get a Stadium down. But he needs like an extra energy in his hand to pull this off. Uh, I could have knocked out this thing. And then nothing would have been able to Oko me. Because it only does 80 damage. Does he have it? Ah, he has it. That's unfortunate, man. That's super duper. Unf what are you wasting my time for, bro? I don't. I'm not. I'm not playing this game. If you're wasting my time, I'm not. I'm not playing this game. If you're wasting my time, um, did he? He had Guzma, right? Nothing was damaged on my bench, so I, I could have. I could have won that game. I could have won that game. I just misclicked there, and it is what it is. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's that's unfortunate. I 100% could have won that game. It all depends on what else he had in his hand, but it looks like the majority of his hand was cards that would not have won him the game. He would have had to have another Duskman Necrozma, uh, which is not impossible, but he had two, he had a bunch of energies in his hand and a Guzma, so I don't know what the other card would have been. So unless the other card was a Duskman Necrozma, I'm pretty sure I won that game. I'm almost positive I won that game. Um, I'm almost positive I did, but it's really unfortunate that I just messed up like that. I mean, mistakes happen. It is what it is. But, I mean, you guys can at least see the power of the deck. God, I hate when I misclick, man. It is the most annoying thing when I misclick. Because in real life, you can go, you don't misclick. You just, you do something, you're just like, oh, wait, I don't want to do that. Well, it's your turn. And it's just like, ugh, whatever. Um, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm too triggered right now. Oh, we're playing against Garbodor, so our Rotoms aren't going to be super useful. 
Um, we'll just get all of our Zorks. What's prized? Any Zorks prized? Not really, so we should be okay. Plenty of tools, so I'm not too worried about attaching this now. And I'll pass. Oh, that is so unfortunate, man. That was so... I'm so triggered. I am so triggered, because that was such a good game. Oh, he's playing... He's playing Garbotoxin. Or not Garbotoxin, uh, the other thing. So Zorik will be a good matchup here. If we can just set up everything. And I don't play too many tools. So and this is one of those games where I don't want to play tools. Because Trash Lanch is actually... Oh, he's playing this. Okay. So Mew's going to be useful if there's no Trash Lanch out. Heat Rotom is not super useful. I just play Sigma here, I think. Because we have plenty of Pokemon. I think just in case we don't get a Pokemon, I'll play down the Heat Rotom. Because you never know. I might whiff. But I need Zorix here, so hopefully I can get some Zorix. I mean, I don't want to play Ultra Ball to get them, but it is what it is, I guess. So what do I toss? I don't want to toss Guzma. I don't want to toss Ann. I don't want to toss Sycamore. Um, but I have to toss one of them, so. Which one is going? We'll toss Sycamore. I don't want to toss Blower either because that's actually super useful. Uh, I don't want to toss Guzma because that's really useful. Hmm. Do I just toss my toss borders? No, I think I, I think I toss it lately. As much as I don't want to, it is what it is there. And I don't want to trade anything in my hand right now, so we're not gonna. Because ideally, he takes a knockout. I can feel Blower away any potential Garbotoxin and then attack with Mew. That's the that's the goal at least. Uh, we can trade later. For now, we'll just beat. And we just take we just take beat knockouts for a little bit. And hopefully he never sets up a garb. That's the dream. This deck is the one that did really well at Oceana, right? So, let's see what happens. Alright, there's a strong energy, which is annoying. I'm really hoping he eventually takes a knockout, because I want to be able to play uh, Mew to knock out this... Um, Buzzle, but at the same time, I'm trying my best to avoid playing too many tool items down. We only have two right now, which is fine. There's another field blower. Yeah, that hits for a lot. Technically, it's not too okay, which is really funny. Uh, there is nothing but items in my hand, so obviously I have to lose something. Did I lose a special charge already? I did, so I can't lose special charge. Um, I would like... Ooh, I have dashing pouch here. So if I can get a Pokemon off this... Straight away, Flowstone. Okay, we have an N. I don't wanna, I wanna make sure I maximize my blowers, so I'm not gonna play the blower down yet. If I can get another Zorak off this, that'd be really nice. Hmm. I did not get another Zorak off this, so that's unfortunate. I could beat now, but I'd rather not. So I'm gonna be knocked out next turn. And I don't have nine tools in there, so I can't really abuse Mo Rotom right now, because Mo Rotom would have been really nice. But there's only one tool down there, so yikes. I'll retreat into a Rotom here. And pass. Which means my my uh this will be knocked out here, which is annoying. I need more Ultra Ball. I wish I had more like search, like more Pokemon search. I could play like the likes of Nest Ball and uh, I guess, I, I mean like, I want to, I want to be able to get Zorax. I could play like Evo Sodas and Nest Balls. I guess that's an option. Oh, he's going for three prizes this turn. Does he have what he needs though? He needs like another strong energy in hand to pull it off or a choice man. Let's see if he's got it. Because if he doesn't have it, then I survive at the very least. Okay, I guess I survive then. Um, seems very odd. Seems like an odd turn of events, but that's fine. Alright, let's see if I can get Mew off this. Because right? if I can get Mew, that'd be really nice. Oh, we got this Zoark, which is good. One prize attacker. Uh, we need a really good trade here, I guess. I don't really need this Mo Rotom, or this Frost Rotom this matchup. Come on, Ultra Ball Mew. Okay, that's not at all what I wanted. Uh, 30, 60, 90, 100. It's not enough. It's 
not enough damage. Uh, I could just knock out, like, a baby, I guess. Right now. I hate that we're losing, because I'm gonna t he's going to take three prizes next turn if I do that. I have Lele in hand, right? Soldier Ball Lele. But if I do that, like, what do I accomplish? I can try to get another Zoark. I guess. It's not what I want to do, though, like, at all. What do I toss? I have a couple tools in hand. I can also toss a Guzma. Do I want to just play Sycamore? I guess. I'm just so afraid of Trash Lanch. Because we have so many tools. But maybe if I play aggressively, I can, like, win this game before he can do anything. Because he seems pretty stuck right now. Is there anything I want to play in my hand right now? I'm not really feeling it. I'm not really seeing what I want to play. I'm going to just play Sycamore. I want these tools in Discard Pile because I want to be able to abuse my Rotoms. And no way to get a Mew, which is really annoying. Or a free. Oh my god. Why are we whiffing so much? I'm so upset. I'm getting super upset. Well, I might as well let him knock this out since he's going to knock it out no matter what he does. I can get another Zoric into my hand next turn, so. Ah, uh, that's so upsetting. If I can get a way to get Mew, then Mew can take a knockout. But we don't even have Field Blower in our hand anymore, so like if he gets out Garbotoxin, I can't take a knockout with Mew. So that's annoying. Oh, now he's gonna take three prizes for sure. It's just super... Uh, man, things are just getting on my nerves today, bro. <laughs> things are getting on my nerves. I'm just trying to have a good game, have fun. I'm just... All the fun is being taken away from me right now. He's even getting an energy lot of... This is garbage, bro. This is garbage. Another strong energy. All right, so we can knock him out with Mew. Um, he needs to get three energies to knock me out next turn, which is uh, looking very plausible for my opponent. And we have tossed one, two, uh, three, four, five tools so far. I need my opponent to take three prizes. So if I can trade for a Mew, uh, hopefully get an Ultra Ball or a Mew, because I want to play end this turn, since that's the whole way to beat this deck is to like, is to end them down. And since he's giving me the option to end them down at two right now, uh, I just have to hope he doesn't get a draw supporter. So. So I need this Mew to come in super clutch. Uh, so ideally, we can get a Mew here. Can this please happen? Pretty please. Pretty please. Just give me a Mew. Come on. I'm going to actually murder someone. <laughs> I'm feeling murderous right now. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Uh... That might be handy later. I don't want to attach a DC, but we're never going to draw the DC, so... I guess we might as well play it anyways. I don't want to play this down yet. Uh, but just in case he gets, like, garbage or something, I don't know. I'm feeling murderous now, Mr. Krabs. Uh, Man, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. <laughs> Come on. Why can't I draw well? <laughs> eh. Oh my god. Come on, Ultra Ball or Mew, come on. I don't even have that many gone. I only have one Ultra Ball gone. And I've already, there's only 15 cards left in my deck as well. Hook me up, brother. Hook me up, brother. Come on, brother. I would rather knock this out too, so if I can get a Mew right now. Ugh. I'm getting upset, guys. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm pretty I'm pretty angry right now. Um, how many DCs are left in my deck? I have two more left. I'm gonna sick more. I don't I know that I'm losing everything, but I, I need my Mew. Oh my god, I bet you money Mew is prized. If Mew is prized, I'm gonna be just done. I'm done though if Mew is prized. Um, do I hit enough? Four Pokemon, that's a uh, five is a hundred, that's enough for a knockout. Uh I think I toss away. Uh, I need Choice Band. Lele and N, I think. Mew, please be in the deck, bro. It's prized! Uh, I played this game for Mew and I, it was prized this whole time. Uh, <laughs> well, I lose now, guys. I can't really win this game um, at all now. I was so confident in the fact that I had Mew, but it's prized, so it is what it is. Unless I discarded it, which I don't think I did. 
Yeah, it is what it is there. It is what it is there. Yeah, there's no way for me to win. I thought for sure I had the Mew, but I don't, so... Um, that sucks. I was so confident that I had the Mew, man. And now he can attack me here, then he attacks me the other one and wins the game. And then he can just jet punch, so... Uh, that's another, that's another failure. <laughs> that first game was so good, and I messed up, and now this game is so good, and I messed up by not knowing if I had the Mew or not. Which is my fault, because I should have checked, but at the same time, I haven't seen Buzzle Garbodor in years. Like, it's been so long since I've seen Buzzle Garbodor. Like, obviously not years, but you know what I mean. So when I saw Garbodor, I, I've been seeing a lot of just straight trash lands lately, with like, with like Espeon and stuff like that in the ladder. So I was assuming that it was that. So I didn't want to put down Mew. So that's why I didn't, I, that's why I didn't check for Mew at all. But in that game, oh, I should have checked for Mew, man. I should have checked for Mew. I'm triggered. I'm like super triggered. <laughs> I'm super triggered right now. The worst part was that I could have played that game differently if I ever got an Ultra Ball. Hey, what's up, buddy? <sighs> What's up, friend? You were really useful last game. Were you mad? Were you hear me yelling at you? And you're just like, I'm sorry, Dad. And like, Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You let me down last game. Um, but yeah, it's really annoying because if I just had Ultra... Oh, my God. Uh... <laughs> uh, we have a really bad hand. Hmm. Mm. Now we're going second, and our hand is just atrocious, and we can't use this whenever we're Shadow Stitch, as I mentioned earlier, so. I'm going to sit down in the corner and cry now, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I don't know what to do. Like, I'm, I'm hoping that he just whiffs really hard, but we're going to play end, so, like, the chances of him whiffing, and he already has Brooklyn Hill. Like, the only last time we played against Gr Greninja, my opponent just didn't get anything, so I'm hoping that's the case again. But seems very, very, very unlikely. Uh, we have to play Brooklet as well. Um, there's nothing for me to grab. Oh, we have two Zoroark's prize. So that's Zoroark's prize. So that's really interesting. Man, I really like how that's happening. Well. Don't really know what to say here. <laughs> don't really know what to say. I don't want to get out more Pokemon so that I can potentially win this game. Maybe. Uh, that's a shame. Oh, good. So all the Ultra Balls. Literally everything that I wanted last game, I'm getting now. As if it helps me now. Freaking garbage, I swear to God. Oh my God. It's super upsetting. It's super upsetting. It's so upsetting. Because now I don't have anything to trade next turn. Here we go. I don't think I can win this game. I don't think I can win this game anymore. We'll see what happens, but I don't think I can win this game. Cause like we don't have anything in our hand now. I would have to top deck a Sycamore and get nothing but the best. Oh, never mind. That that actually kind of works. Um, I would have to get nothing but like the greatest hands for now on. I would need DC for sure. Mm, okay. Uh, I don't have anything to Ultra Ball for anymore, and I don't hit enough. No, I hit just enough. Never mind. All right, well, I guess we'll fight on, and hopefully we can win this game. Hopefully my opponent stays stuck for a little bit, but I doubt it. Let's we'll see what happens here. Because now he can, once he shadow stitches, I can't do much much else after that. We already have a the worst, the worst, the absolute worst start ever against this deck. And now we can never Oko these things. Yeah, I'm not I'm not playing this game, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for those of you that get triggered about me scooping. I know there's a couple of you that do get triggered about me scooping. There's imp it's impossible to win that game from that point on. We had a really rough start. We had a two H a two prize 120 HP attacker led. Led with. It was the worst possible start. And once he hits one, once he has those 130 attacking, 130 HP Pokemon, it's, you can't knock him out, which means we can't really chain knockouts. Uh, he Shadow Stitches, which means our Rotoms can't attack because their ability is reliant on free attacks. So if they turn off abilities, we don't have free attacks. Because that would have been fun to attack with Rotom, because um, Mo Rotom would have been a pretty decent start. Oh my god. Oh, it looks like we're leading once again with uh, Bridget, or with uh, Mew, so I swear to god. <laughs> I swear. 
I am super, this is not how I wanted to end like the last 10 days. And I don't have time to re-record because I have to go to work soon. I have to go to work soon. They're playing against Metal. So ideally, Mo Rotom can put in work today. Ideally. At least we get a turn on Bridget. So that's pretty useful on its own, right? Uh, hoping there's not too many Dusk Mains because Dusk Mains do Oko Zoarks. We'll see what happens here. <sighs> okay, this will be the last game though. Ideally, we can end with a win at the very least. So let's see what we can do. I don't care though. I won that last game. I don't care what anyone says. I won that first game, not the last game. Greninja game, I lost horribly. Horribly lost. Uh, the game before that, our uh, Mew was prized. Mew would have been my win con. Because ideally, I would have got Mew and then take, taken two knockouts with it. And then I can knock it like the Trubbishes and the Arbidors out easily. Um, so. There's that. All right, so one, two, we have all these. Do we have Heat Rotom? Okay, look, we don't have horrible prizes this time. Actually, we should check my DCs first. All right, we have one DC prize, which is not awful. Um, everything else seems pretty decent though, because we have most of our Pokemon that matter. So that's pretty good. Just pass it up. And then next turn we toss away some dashing pouches. Ideally, he plays down his fighting memories now so I can discard them. So I don't want to deal with any fighting memories. Also, I don't want to have a full bench, but I kind of have to have a full bench. So we can get a Zoark off an Ultra Ball, and then we can probably end my opponent. Although if I, if my opponent has a small hand, I think I'm gonna draw Play Sick more. Um, but I'm losing a Field Blower at the same time, so I'm not super keen on that idea. I might just play Guzma if I can get a full bench and a DC like somehow. Uh, I would need to. How do I? Oh, that's annoying. Well, shout out to Field Blower. Um, <laughs> shout out to Field Blower. Uh, let's see. We have a Mo Rotom. Do that. I think we do toss the end because I'm going to play. I don't want to play end this turn, I think. So, how would I win this right here? Not win this, but uh, I would need to trade. Hmm. I don't think it's worth it. So what I would need to do here is trade into a, this is actually pretty useful this matchup, is trade, actually I can't even knock this out in one hit. Um, yeah, it's not worth it. I would need to trade into a, <clears throat> what's it called? Uh, I would need to trade into a DCE and a, po and not really a Pokemon, I would just need to trade into a DCE. But if I were to discard anything, <clears throat> I'd probably discard the Lele. Actually, I probably discarded Kuzma. So I would need to uh, get a DCE off the trade to do anything, which I'm not super confident in because, you know, four of counts. But we got it, so I mean, that's cool, I suppose, in its own right. Um, I can copy the attacks of somebody. Is there anybody to, to as copy? I could armor press. Uh, but this thing comes in and knocks me out, so I don't want to do that. Also, we don't have a float stone, so I, I, I think I kind of have to armor press, maybe. Uh, maybe we can get a float stone off this. Is this useful? It's probably not useful, but I, I kind of want to keep it around, but at the same time, it's whatever. Any floatstone here? Nope. Nope. Right, let's try to get another floatstone then. Um, let's go for this, I guess. Play a little bit more aggressively still. Go for Zoric here. I can also just knock him out with this Zoric. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna just do that, I think. We'll attack with the other, with the with the non-GX Zoric. But we'll trade just in case we draw it. So that'd be really, actually, yeah, because I want to trade away whatever we get off the Ultra Ball anyways. Yeah, I don't mind trading these away. There we go. At least we have a board now. The only thing we're missing is Heat Rotom, and Heat Rotom eventually we'll be able to get, although we don't have any more Ultra Balls, I think. So, there's that. Uh, we only have one more Ultra Ball, so the last Ultra Ball is going to have to go into a really lucky <laughs> Heat Rotom for Knockout on a Metal type if he plays any more Metal types. But we'll mind Jack for Knockout here. And if he has DC in hand, he can knock me out in return, which is annoying, but it is what it is. Oh, now we get Flowstone. But I don't, th oh, he does, because he has to for your dreams about it. I can't wait to play Soul Valley again. I just can't wait to like be past this 10 days because like it was fun for sure, but I want to be able to play decks I think are better in this format. So I don't, because I, I try to avoid playing any decks that don't have more than like one or two Ultra Prism cards, right? 
Play down a, oh, you know what? I'll take that. And we have time for one more game. So we'll, we'll squeeze in one more game here. So ideally, what was I saying? Um, I wanted to play nothing but Ultra Prism, like main decks that like rely on Ultra Prism, right? Um, so that's why we play Leafeon, we play Glaceon and all the other big ones, right? We're playing Rotoms right now. So that's what I want to do the first 10 days. And now the next uploads I'm going to have these next couple of uh, weeks until the next set comes out is going to be decks that were updated with Ultra Prism. There's quite a few. There's a bunch of decks I feel like are top tier now. There's Mill. There is, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh my goodness. My leads in this, in this game have been nothing but booty cheeks. Have you guys noticed? Like I have nothing but booty cheek leads this, this whole like session. Maybe not. Maybe it's just the last three games. But like I've noticed that we've had nothing but booty cheek leads, bro. I'm sick of these booty cheek leads. My opponent's playing Glacian Decidueye, or not Glacian, Decidueye Zorak, I think. Um, that's what it's looking like. Decidueye Zorak's pretty rough because we have very low HP. Mm, so hopefully my opponent doesn't like go off in their games because that's like the only way to stop them. <laughs> it's like the only way to stop them. If I can top take a Bridget, that would be the most ideal scenario because I could I could abuse this. And then I can abuse Zorik as well. And then I don't have to worry about drawing anything. So if I can get like an Ultra Ball, I could toss these two. Um, play down my Lele if it's not Price. Oh, he is. And he's playing the Leafeon, which is really bad in my opinion. But it is what it is there. I know. I just have to see if there's better lists. Maybe I'm just playing it wrong. So I'll play these things down. Uh, chances of him getting Decidueye's next turn. Four, three of them. Very unlikely. So I guess I'll just play Cynthia here and hope for the best. More Pokemon, please. Nope, uh, not at all. So that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. All right. Um, no ways to get Pokemon. No ways. No ways to have Pokemon in hand. So just a bunch of shenanigans there. We have Sycamore though, so we should be able to draw into some useful cards next turn. Let's see if he has Grass Energy and Floatstone in hand. That's what he needs to pull off a. Actually, he can't even evolve his things anymore. So his Leafeon. This is what I mean. This is why I don't like the uh, Leafeon deck very much. Because look at that. His Leafeon is completely is a completely dead card that's on his bench now. I guess you can kind of, well, if you become active, you can kind of heal, but who cares? <laughs> you can't, the only thing you can evolve right now is your Zora, I, I guess, I guess, if you want to be that guy. But I don't know if it's even worth it. I'd rather, I'd rather save for the Hollow Hunt, but if he's not going to save for the Hollow Hunt, that means Disruption is better. If only I had Disruption. He's actually only evolving into a Zoric. That's crazy. And it's not even, oh, oh never mind, I'm about to say. <laughs> um, That's crazy. I guess we can toss his tools before I play Sycamore. I don't know why that happened, but it is what it is. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, nothing can actually knock this man out from full. So there's that to keep in mind. Because I have to play Sycamore this turn. I could also just play Bridget and be that guy, but I don't want to be that guy. My my dude's already behind. Um, yep, we'll just play down... I guess we'll just play down Sycamore. Now, Heat Rotom is going to be a lot of fun this game. Because it gets exact two at KOs. Mo Rotom is going to be a lot of fun this game. Uh, mm, I can get a 2 KO on this right now, but he can heal, so there's that issue. So maybe if I play down this Frost Rotom, it's not a big deal. But I don't want to play down too many things. I, I really don't want to play down too many things, actually. So, mm, How many tools are down there right now? Just one. I'm actually going to start tossing tools. If I absolutely need to, I can play down Rotom. Mm, there's another tool. Uh, we hit 110, right? Uh, he knock, he heals up, which means the following turn I need to hit. Uh, if he heals 50, that means he goes from 110 to 60 HP. And then I can knock him out with a 50 HP hit. With a 50 HP knockout, yeah. Uh, in case he wants to knock this out, we'll play that down there. And we'll write his beating here. Yep. So you can heal if he wants, but he needs to also retreat this turn. I think it's a two energy retreat, so he'd be wasting an energy by retreating. Let's see what happens. And I can Guzma him next turn if I absolutely need to, but I still need one more Pokemon as well if I'm going to Guzma. Is he going to just attack me? Because I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, there's a the Decidueye. Let's see what he's going to do. I'm just, I'm just super curious, man. You can get, he has two Decidueyes out, which means he can actually start sniping. So I definitely need to get more Zoroax down. Uh, he doesn't really have bench space for Espeon, so I'm not too worried about Espeon right now. I guess he can trade, but like, 
He can attack me, hit me for 110. That's a 2 hit KO. I get a 2 hit KO in return as long as I can get one more Pokemon. Uh, I don't really want to bench this Rotom, though. I have so many Pokemon in the deck, but I don't want to bench Rotom. <laughs> Uh, what else is super useful this matchup? Mew is kind of useful because I can copy right as beating, but Mew gets O-Code, so I definitely don't want to play down Mew. Heat Rotom is like my way to go, ideally. So if I can get Heat Rotom, that'd be really nice. He could potentially knock me out next turn with a DCE, so I gotta keep that in mind as well. Oh, I'm losing too many Guzmas here. I'm actually losing way too many Guzmas, but it is what it is. Uh, yep. That's awkward. Okay, we can evolve here. Uh, we have Lele if we absolutely need to, but I don't want to play it on Lele. So, how many choice bands are gone? I want to keep choice bands around for the most part to deal with Heat Rotom. Actually, do we have a Zora down there? We don't. Never mind. For some reason, I thought we had a Zora down there. All right, so we get a knockout here. This is my last Ultra Ball. I just realized. So we're gonna definitely need that Heat Rotom <laughs> at some point. Uh, we can trade here. Do I want to trade away an N? I kind of do. So I want to try to get Heat Rotoms while I can. Let me trade away an N here. DCE. Oh, I need to get dressed. I have to go to work soon. Uh, well, I don't want to trade anything in my hand right now, so we'll just go ahead and get our knockout. We're kind of set for the following turn, if we need to be. If he gets a revenge knockout, that's fine. We can attack with our Zoark, uh, Dashing Pouch, and Rotom. All right, cool. That's another tool we can toss away. Uh, we have two. Three, four, five. Um, five tools gone. He gets a knockout here. And he does play the Espeon, so that's problematic. So I'm probably going to need my Mew just to knock out this Espeon before it becomes an issue. Uh, we don't have any more Guzmas, though, I think. Yeah, we only have one Guzma left. Oh, my God. That's so annoying. Is he going to... I mean, he could have just, like, knocked out two things this turn, huh? Because he had the Espeon. Seems like he attached that energy too early. Uh, but it is what it is there. I can stretch her to get the other Zoark back into my hand, but once again, I really, really want Mew this turn. I don't know. I don't know. This is a tough turn. So I would like Mew, but then Mew gets O-Code, and then I get O-Code in return, and then shenanigans happen, and we're all sad. And I don't like being sad. This is one of my favorite decks to play ever, but this is, it just doesn't play any like new cards in it. Like I don't think Leafeon's an asset whatsoever in this deck. I think it's more of a hindrance. It gets in the way. You can't play things like Max Potion and stuff as well. Ah, uh, you've been nothing but a pain, bro. Well, first things first, let's go ahead and trade away Dashing Pouch. Oh, we do have another Ultra Ball. And we have Guzma. Huh. All right, Mew, are you in the deck this time, buddy? Because if you're in the deck this time, then we are uh, we are rocking and rolling right now. We can at least trade for... We can blow for blow at the very least, which is nice. Plus, this Espeon's got to go. I don't know how many stretches you play, but I'm hoping it's not too many. Uh, so we can put the other Zoark back into our hand here. After this thing gets knocked out, we can special charge and then sick more. Uh, so that's pretty good. Alright, so we have a chance to win this. It's there. It's not like super impossible now to win. Uh, right is beating, right? Yeah. So this gets knocked out. And now, if we can get Heat Rotom off of Sycamore and manage to like... Well, we don't have any more Guzmas, never mind. So the, so the Heat Rotom is just now a dead card, <laughs> which is definitely unfortunate. The problem is that if he were to put 20 damage on his Zor on this, if he were to put 40 more damage on this Zoric right here, I don't think I can win anymore. Because then he can just knock out something next turn. And we can't trip. I mean, I guess we could like do some Bursting Balloon shenanigans, especially if we can get like enough tools down there. We can attack with a Rotom. Ideally, if we can attack with a Mo Rotom. So let's see what we got. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven, which means we just need two more. Okay, so Mo Rotom might be a clutch play. We just need to, we just need to get off the Sycamore one more tool card and uh, we can actually discard DCEs. So Mo Rotom, I'm gonna need you to put in your work, bro. <laughs> I think it's about time you show them why you're in charge, buddy. So we're gonna go ahead and get Sycamore here. Oh, we even got the Choice Band too. All right, do we need the Choice Band? No, cause 60 into 150 is a knockout. So actually we do need the Choice Band. But how many Choice Bands are gone? 
Uh, we, we have one more in the deck. I'm really going to rely on that last one. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. We'll get Sycamore here. Actually, we can grab N, which is probably better, right? Because we can disrupt a lot more because we have both of our things still. Uh, N is better, I think. I think it's better. Because we can toss both of these tools in our hand. Special charge and play N. Huh. Yeah, we'll do that. I think we already touched for the turn. All right, so this should be this should be nine tools. We can discard his special energies and hopefully that sticks for a little bit. Dude, how many ultra? Did I play all my ultra balls in the last game? Is that what happened? I guess I did. I must. Dude, these games really meld together when I play them. I swear. That should be nine tools. Hey, you can even tell because I did the thing. Um, nothing else is super useful. If you play down another Espeon for whatever reason, we're kind of set. Special charge here. One two. We have plenty of stretchers to like fill up our deck if we need to. Then we end our opponent down to two. And ideally we keep both of our trades next turn. He doesn't get any Guzmas. And we have Field Blower as well, which could prove to be useful. But we can special Mo get rid of his DC here. Hey, Rotom's coming through in the clutch. There we go. There we go. I might have to cut out these first couple of games. <laughs> because these first couple, if you guys don't know, these first couple of games, actually, they're not bad. I can probably cut out the Greninja game. The Greninja game is, you guys know Greninja is an auto loss. I'll tell you right now that if I cut out a Greninja game, it's because I scooped up because I don't want to deal with Greninja. <laughs> it's literally Greninja. Uh, once they evolve into Greninja, you can't knock them out with Zoark. And uh, they can ability lock you, which means you can't do anything with your Rotoms. So I guess my opponent's really just like, they're, they're banking on the trade right now. But if I can get like Choice Band uh, and a Float Stone, which I think we have more Float Stones in the deck. Yeah, we have like three more Float Stones in the deck. So if I can get like Choice Band and Float Stone, I win the game if he can't retreat. Bro, bro, bro. Give this to me, man. Give this to me. Give this to me, bro. I have four, I have two trades accessible to me. I literally just need Choice Band and a, and a Float Stone. I have one more choice band left, but I have plenty of float stones left. But I can't, I can't attack him with, I can't attack him with a Zoark until I get it. Oh no. Did he just win the game? There's no way. There's just no way, right? Oh, he just won. No, he got the perfect cards off his end of trade. Ah, that was such a close, fun game, bro. Rotom put in the work. Ah, oh, no, no. No, that's actually really upsetting. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, oh, overall though, I mean, I think the deck's a lot of fun. It is a meme deck more than anything, so I don't expect it to get every win in the world. But it got some wins where it mattered, I guess. And like, th th I made that mistake in the beginning, so it is what it is there. But let's go ahead and go over the deck. I think it's fun. I think Rotoms are really cool. Uh, the only problem is that you have to like, you know, play them. <laughs> this deck would be infinitely better. Like somebody said, like if there was like five more Zoarks and or less Rotoms, this deck would be a lot better, and I agree with them. <laughs> uh, the Buzzwell deck was really upsetting, because we were able to constantly get rid of his uh, Garbotoxin if you ever got them out, and then we can knock them out with Muse. So it was just a matter of, like, I'm not drawing well, and if I was drawing as good as my opponents were, I could probably win these games. Uh, or if my opponents were drawing as poorly as I were, as I was, I could have won those games, is what I'm trying to say. Because, like, my opponents, they're just, they just draw really well, man. Has this man got both DCE and a Guzma? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Off of an end to two with one trade, you got DC and a Guzma. That's crazy, but it is what it is. Um, I think they're pretty. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, if you, yeah, I wouldn't recommend playing this at a tournament, uh, but it's definitely fun. Maybe when we get better tools, like really, really good tool cards, it might be worth revisiting this deck because uh, right now we don't have that many great tools. Like Bursting Balloon is actually really bad. Uh, I know that people are just like, oh, Bursting Balloon is really cool. They can take damage and put the things in range. That's true. But the problem with Bursting Balloon is that your opponent always has a Field Blower and always has a Guzma. Like there's very few situations where I'm, my opponents don't have those cards and I'm not, and, uh, and they're able to take damage. I'm telling you, man, if you want to see examples, we stream this, we stream this deck for two hours and nobody's ever got damage from a Bursting Balloon that mattered. Uh, this is a really dope card. I actually really like Dashing Pouch in this deck, so that's pretty cool. And I haven't really got a chance to abuse Boys Barber. I did just throw it in, just as a 15th tool. I'm glad I put in 15 tools, though, because that means pretty much every game we were able to put enough tools in the discard pile for Rotom to start attacking. But of course, my Heat Rotom is prized in one game, and then my Mew is prized in the other games that matter. So my prizes were just, like, deliciously horrible. So maybe if I were to play this deck again, I'd play two Mews and two Heat Rotoms, just because Metal's pretty popular right now. Uh... 
Although I, I gotta say that this boy, this boy put in the work. He, I, I almost won that game. I almost did. I almost did. <laughs> I wish I knew what my next two draws were or next five draws, I guess, because I had five opportunities to get a choice band and floatstone. So if I just, if I got one of them with like very few cards up to my deck, we would have been set. And I know they were all in the deck. I think I'm pretty sure they were all in the deck. I know, I know that the floatstones were in the deck, but I don't know about the choice bands. I don't remember. Uh, but regardless, thank you guys all so much for watching. Drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe, show all the good jazz. Thank you all for joining me in this journey of playing 10 different decks 10 days in a row to celebrate the first 10 days of Ultra Prism. Shout out to you guys for all the support. Shout out to you guys for the 3,000 subscribers. We will figure out a way to celebrate in the future, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.